Hey, what's up, Clinton fans? Welcome to another episode of Crash Course here with Barry Carter. Uh, and just wanted to talk, catch up a little bit, talk a little bit of what we got going on. This week was the start of classes, so we got back into classes um, this week. Well, actually, last it, week. it was last week. Yeah. So this is like the actual full week, the first full week that we have in classes. And uh, how have classes been so far, going? So far, it's been good. Uh, nothing too crazy so uh, so far. Uh, just, of course, been the only the second or third day, but you know I'm enjoying my my classes. I have really good professors, and I'm excited to you know to learn this semester. How about you? No, yeah, they've been my class has been good. So like they would say, I got solid professors. You know, the hard the hard the work isn't too hard, not too difficult, and you know it's also enjoyable when you got professors that you can you know talk to. You don't mind if you got any questions or anything. Today was a uh, it was pouring out though. I, I usually ride my scooter around, so I got rained on a little bit. Uh, I dried up since this morning, uh, it's, it's, so it cleared up, but kind of sucked riding in the rain on my scooter. And, you know, I had like a raincoat on, but it got it was so bad, like it was like soaking through my shirt, and like I just showed the class all wet. But you know, other than that, you know, it's, it's been good sometimes. It was like a monsoon today. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was bad. I don't know where <laughs> it, was, it, it was raining so. I think it's the, it's like this tropical like hurricane like in the southeast. Oh, okay. But um, no, it was raining so hard. Like I, my first class was at nine thirty, so it woke me up out of my sleep. Like it was, it was bad. And then like driving in it, had to drive super slow, couldn't even see. But no, nah, it, it cleared up. So it's so sunny now, so thankfully it cleared up. Yeah, it was probably known for me. I wore slides. I had socks on, but I took off the socks because I don't like wearing rust but socks around. So I had to take off my socks. You didn't check the weather before you left? Like, I saw it was drizzling, but I didn't think it was going to be raining that hard. So I, I just grabbed my, my like, little, like, pullover windbreaker type of thing. And uh, that, that, that didn't help at all. So now I was, like, going to show in the class barefoot, soaking wet. and uh, Trifling. Yeah, it, 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 was, it, was, it was bad this morning. But, uh... We got game. We got game coming. The game coming up next uh, Monday. It's upcoming Monday. Really excited. I'm sure Barry's excited for the game. Yeah. Uh, you want to take the guys through like other people fancy like you know a normal game week and like how it builds up leading up the game day. Yeah. So our game week is very structured. Um, of course, us playing on a Monday, we had to change it up a little bit. So you know we go through each day of the week. So our Mondays are called Mental Mondays, and us playing on a Monday. Tomorrow, Wednesday, will be our Mental Monday. Then we have Tanoga Tuesdays, which will be on Thursday. Working Man Wednesday, which will be on Friday. Um, Team Thursday on Saturday. Focus Friday on Sunday. And Successful Saturday on Monday. So I know that was probably kind of confusing, but you know that's just how we structure our, our, our weeks. Mental Monday is just a lot of game prep. Um, a lot of just Duke and scout work and um, Tanoga Tuesdays. That's like the tougher day. We're in full pads, doing a lot against the offense, uh, some hitting involved. Nothing live or anything, but just some, just some hitting just to, you know, keep us sharp and keep us, you know, physical when it comes game time. Working Man Wednesday is less hitting, but it's a lot of scouts too. And then the rest of the week is just, you know, just getting your uh, mind prepared and uh, just really focus on the game. So, you know, it's, it's, it's great that we're back into that structure every week. I'm excited for it. But, uh, yeah, so next, you know, since we have a game coming up, I was wondering if, Try, if you had any, like, rituals or superstitions about, like, your routine when it comes to game time. Uh, for me, I don't really have a necessary, like, a, uh, something like a ritual, like free game ritual that I like to follow uh, every single week. But uh, I do like to, you know, Make sure like I'm just locked in. I'll try to go over my notes and stuff. Besides being the first one dressed in the locker room. Uh, yeah, I do get dressed pretty fast. <laughs> I have to go out. I'll get warmed up and like you know our warm ups and everything pregame. Do all that and I'll come in. You know I'm gonna sit down a little bit, go get tape. Um, then I'll put on my pads and helmet and everything. And I like to like listen to my music. Usually on the bus ride over to the stadium, I'll listen to like you know R and B's or some chill. It's like you know. To uh, you know, just you know, stay relaxed because you still got like like two hours. Well, not maybe not, yeah, it's like two hours yeah. usually. So like two hours early. Um, then you know, for the warm up, I miss, might listen to a little bit like you know hip hop and stuff. Then I can turn on like gospel one after I do my pregame warm up and everything. 
Well, I like to get dressed early. I don't know. I'm a little bit weird like that. I like to just be able to, you know, sit in my pads, <laughs> you know, just get used to them and, you know, uh, and just, you know, just breathe in the moment as far as, like, you know, this pregame, just being used to my pads. So when I get out there, it just feels like my pads are just, like, you know, one with me. It's it's, like, this stresses just, me out. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> it, that's, that's just how I like to get ready. No, like, no, no judgment at all, first off, but just, like, Try he's like he's he goes out there to warm up stretch but like before are you like the only one out there when you go? Or like? I, I usually get out there pretty early. Um and there's a few guys that'll be out there but usually when you know Bear is uh, like a lot of the guys start coming out, that's when I'm usually headed back in. Yeah. I, I change pretty fast and everything, but what I no, like what I was saying, like yeah, try goes out early, I'll go out, I'll warm up, stretch, whatever, I'll come back in and Tri's already addressed like ready to go and like it it is so like i like i'll like peep and all it's just like i try so hard not to like stress out because i'm like oh my gosh i need to get dressed right now like it's time running out so i'm like but i, I so after i saw try to do that the first time i was like what the heck and then he does it every single week <laughs> so i'll say like that that really caught me by surprise but you know for me i don't really have a re i do eat the same thing for breakfast and for pregame meal, I would say that I'm very superstitious in that way. Um, breakfast, I'll have an omelet with like bacon, turkey sausage, peppers, spinach, and I think that's it. Eggs, obviously, and that I, that's my breakfast every single game day. Um, and then pregame meal, I have grilled chicken, a piece of steak, a bread roll some pasta, and some green beans. I have that meal every single pregame meal, like day game or night game, whatever. That's that's what I'm doing. So I'll say that's really the only thing that I'm like superstitious about. But, you know, I mean, it's helped me. So I'm just going to stick to what I stick to what I know. Yeah, you know, that, that's what's up. I mean, I feel like that's like uh, kind of carries over into like what we were talking about before, like the game schedule. Yeah. The coaches had to do a good job and make sure everything's on time throughout the week. And like we get just building all the way up in the game day, even with the pregame meals and dinner and everything, and then like we always watch a movie. Mm -hmm. It's the day before the yeah the day before, day before the game, and uh, they just try to you know just allow us to get, be in that routine, so you know when everything's like that you do day by day, each day and like leading up to the game, like okay, it's, you gotta start getting your mind ready, and you gotta start getting uh, in that mindset of you know the game's coming up, so you can really. Just like flip the switch and everything and be ready for games. But, um, you know, that's just a little bit about, you know, game day and what we're doing this week leading up to Duke. Really excited to play, really excited to, you know, uh, play a team like Duke. I mean, they got a lot of guys, a really explosive offense. You know, it's going to be a good challenge for us. And um, just can't just can't wait. But when it just ended there, I want to say thank you to dear old Clemson and Clemson Insider for allowing us to do this show and talk to you guys a little bit, you know, about what we got going on and, you know, how we – Prepare for games, stuff like that. And just thank you guys. Go Tigers and see you guys on Monday. Go Tigers. Peace.